I was there from 68 to 69. Come home in 70. My best shot was 950 yards. First five were the hardest because it went against everything that I was raised up by. Thou shall not kill, you know, love your fellow man, forgive and forget, stuff like that. But that's everything that we were taught as kids. And the first one I looked through it, through that scope, I knew he was somebody's grandfather, uncle, cousin, brother, father, grandpa. And those first five were the hardest and they'll always be with me. But after that, you just get cold and you just turn it off. In 1970, I got bags of shit thrown at me. I got spit at, called names. And just, you know, mother raper and... People my age are now in sort of like power, I guess you could say. You know, they've, they've moved up and to taken the places of our fathers. Our fathers were from World War II and they've gone and they've retired out. And then people my age are getting into organizations and things like that that make sure that, that everything is all right and, and we don't get treated like we did when we come back from Vietnam. So that's, that, and that's a good thing, it really is. I got more recognition today from complete, totally strangers. Today was one of the best days of my life. And I've, I've lived 60 years now. And I just, I was just, <laughs> My chest filled out and I just, I was all proud and people were saying thank you. And I haven't had that in, I don't know how long. I just wish I'd had it when I come back. But that was then, this is now. I lost a lot of brothers over there. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. This is my country, and I, I'll stand up for it, right or wrong. I'll be behind it all the way. Uh, 100%.